so the new studio is up and running. Behind me is the first build video, but it's gonna be a while before there's loads of green and all the tanks and full. In the meantime, I think we should get some more greenery in here. So I'm at BMM, which is a discount shop here in the UK. Now it's one of those shops that doesn't sell anything, but sells everything, if you know what I mean. Like stuff you didn't even know you wanted. Anyway, I was in here the other day and I noticed some cool house plants that look good in the new studio. Oh, come on, how good does that look? Little like jungle corner over here now. I'm loving that. I mean, it is kind of flowing into that tank. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't, but it looks cool nonetheless, doesn't it? I like that. This is a problem though, because now I want more plants. Many of you have been asking about how the Blackwater Aquarium is getting on. Well, I've not even done a water change on it yet. And another good thing, normally when you buy a big group of fish, you will get a couple of die-offs. That's why normally when you go in the, in the fish shops, there's, there's sometimes a couple that don't make it. It's just just what happens. Well, every single one of the neon tetras that I put in a tank, I survive. I survive. Have su <laughs> they're all alive, all right? <laughs> so yeah, there's probably about 30 there, and they're all doing really, really good. My reflections are killing this. Hang on. <laughs> so yeah, there's probably about, that didn't help, did it? That didn't help at all. I know, I know, get one of those lenses that covers it up. Yeah, yeah, it's on its way. Uh, but in the meantime, look how good they're all looking. They're so cool, these fish. Right, they're just poodling around, look. All sort of still. Watch this. <laughs> look at them go. They go absolutely nuts. Just flying all over the place. I love that. It's so cool to watch. I'm going to actually get some more fish for you soon now, guys. It's all doing really, really well. There's no need for adding bacteria or anything like that. It's all cycled, looking great. There is one problem, though. The... What's it called? Uh, frog bit, that's it. Some of it's looking a bit gross, like it's some, some of the frog bits sort of dying off. Um, I pick up bits like this one, for instance, and it just feels slimy and sort of broken. <laughs> yeah, like that bit there, look, look at that, for example. That's definitely like rotting stuff. If you like, focus on it, please. There we go, it's like a, a rotting one, so get that out. I think maybe it's because it's due to water change, but I did a water test on it and everything come back perfect. Nitrates, nitrite, ammonia, all of it right, right down. Like nothing, no ammonia at all. So I'm just gonna do a water change anyway. There's obviously something going on that, that they don't like. The pH, by the way, 6.8. So even with all of that black water, it's still decent pH. Click subscribe. I went for a 30 to 40% water change there. Glass clean, all the edges cleaned up. Hopefully that sort of corrects it, but I think to make sure, I'm gonna move some of the healthy ones into just this little area down here. I've got just some plants, I don't know, I don't, don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> but anyway, some water there that I can put them in. Okay, that's sort of, we've got a few there and we're covering our backsides if you know all of these die off i don't think they will because they're not all bad but there is quite a lot like that one right there there's quite a lot when you actually get close but underneath it looks awesome doesn't it and the red root ones are actually growing in really nicely as don't focus on my finger they're growing in really good as well they actually aren't being affected and they look great where are they there you go look so that's one of the red root floater ones and that looks really good it's like perfect condition it's really firm and nice pink bits on it as well yeah looking great those Hopefully they just covered the surface. That'd look awesome, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness, I was just working away. I had to grab the camera because look, is Vlad absolutely loving life. Hello, buddy. How you, oh, there you go, in the middle. It's just chilling away, putting on some good size there. Probably about the size of my little finger there now. Looking good. He's got that sort of nice orange hue to him. Much, much, much bigger than when I first got him, which is great to see. Well, I've got some really, really cool news, guys. So, you know this new room, well, of course you know it, you've seen it all. Oh, it's, the lights are off at the moment because I've just come in, it's like five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, see this rack behind me? I've just ordered an absolute ton of equipment to go on there. I've got six cube aquariums, OptiWhite glass, 30 centimeter, 30 centimeter, 30 centimeter, which is 25 liters, I think, something like that, which is about five or six gallons. But yeah, anyway, they're all gonna be go there. I'm gonna have like a real cool shrimp rack going on, and I think I'm probably gonna do the same in that corner. And what we're gonna be looking at then is about 12 tanks of exotic shrimp. So to filter each tank, I've got an air pump coming. It's got a six-way splitter on it, which means it can go to six sponge filters in each and every one, which is perfect for shrimp setups. They don't like loads of flow. And then I've got some strip lights to go across the top as well. So that is gonna be looking awesome. Can't wait for that now. I'm gonna keep each skate super simple, but a little bit different in its own way. And it'll be awesome if we can get some proper breeding going on, maybe be able to sell them as well. I don't know, I wanna go for exotics. It's gonna be hard, but I think I can do it. My water seems to do really well with Neo Caradina and Caradina shrimp, so fingers crossed we get some really good breeding out of this. I'm currently doing a water change on the bowl aquarium. As you can see here, look, a couple of Monte Carlos have come up, so I'm gonna have to resolve that by like just tying them to little bits of pebbles or something, putting them back in. It's just one of those things that they don't have long roots until they're established, you see, so it's very difficult for them to stay in. They work their way up, especially the amount of oxygen they produce because they're constantly putting air bubbles up and <laughs> obviously that's gonna make them wanna float. But, good news. The cyano, cyano, whatever bacteria on the uh, discus aquarium here, all sort of dead if you like. So you can see here, well, if it focuses you can anyway. Hello, uh, hello, hello. So you can see here there's gaps in the pockets of cyanobacteria. That's just where it's all sort of died and it's just there now. So you can siphon that all out, which will be brilliant. And hopefully it won't come back. It's not quite as vibrantly green as before. It's kind of like a dull green. I'm also thinking about siphoning it all out and just putting in more coarser sand because I think it'll be able to back it a lot easier. At the moment, when I back this sand to get some of the poop up, it goes up into the pipe and gets taken away and goes down the sink, which we don't really want. Also, a lot of you said about getting quarries for the tank. That is going to be happening. I just, well, completely forgot if I'm honest, but yeah, I do want some quarries. They look great. A school of about six, seven, eight, something like that, all sweeping around there. Um, maybe I should try that before switching out the sand because the quarries don't like more coarse sand for their, they got little whiskers at the front, don't they? So they don't really like that. The sand I'm talking about getting, it's not really, really coarse. Where is it? Here it is, down here. It's still a sat nah, it's probably too coarse for a quarry, I reckon. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll disturb all of this, suck out all what's there of the of the Sino, get the quarries, put them in, see how they are. If it carries on and the, the quarries aren't working, well, I can take them out and put them in a different tank anyway. I mean, for instance, this tank here, the, the, the black water ground hasn't got any quarries in. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. So we've got loads and loads of options. And then if that doesn't work, I'll do the coarser sand, get higher flow going so it doesn't blow everywhere, all that sort of things. But first and foremost, it's good to have some quarries in there. I think I think they'll go really well. Sturby or bronze quarries can tolerate the same temperatures as discus, so they'll be a good choice. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, comment, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.